What's up, everybody? Ben Rezzi here for Odd Chopper. Good morning. Happy Thursday, October 3rd in the Sports World Thursday Night Football. Apparently, there's football for the every day till Thanksgiving, so buckle up. No days off now. We got the MLB playoffs. We got a bunch of random soccer. That means there are bets on the board to be placed. I'm going to put one on my card on this video right now. I want to welcome you to the channel, all things betting from the picks, to the tools, to the process. If you're just new, checking us out for the first time and you like what you see, Welcome. I hope you enjoy. I hope you hit the like button. I hope you subscribe. Stick around if you like this type of content. Yesterday, these unders in these MLB games have been cash. Under in the Orioles game, two to one. Uh, it got a little scary there in the middle, but you know what? Smooth sailing. We check another winner. We're on a roll on this video. Nice little start uh, to the week. Let's not to get too crazy. Ebbs and flows, but if you've been enjoying it, you're saying I like this. I say it every time. Come on in, inside the ropes. I love giving out one pick, but it is just one pick. The variance is gigantic. Come on in the tails. It's not just about getting more picks. That is part of it. It's about having a community to hang out with. It's about being able to ask questions, learn about betting, ask, hey, what do you think about this line? How do I build a round robin? What are you doing for your parlays? Things like that. If you enjoy that type of stuff or you've just been searching for a community, link is below. I can honestly say it is a very fun time, and if you give it a shot, I really believe you'll stick around. If you don't enjoy it, of course, no harm, no foul. You're welcome back anytime, but that link is below. You see the price there. Use that code. I want it to be very accessible for people, not just a premium crazy thing that only certain types of bettors can be in. Welcome for anyone who bets sports or anyone who just wants to hang out and enjoy these games. Now let's get a bet on the board. Here we go. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Sorry about that. Here we go. And that is our Discord. You can see it right there. This is our odd screen. You can see it right there. That is Texas State and Troy. You can see it right there. Here we go. Two DraftKings. Texas State. You guys know that's my team. I'm going to stick with them. Sticking with my guys. Uh, <laughs> this is a weird game for a lot of reasons, but let's talk about it. So I guess I'll start with Texas State. Frustrating team. Uh, they've hurt me a couple weeks in a row here. So they are, and I can tell you from experience, they're an awesome team, but they're an extremely volatile, high-variance team. They consistently, over the last year and a half, fumble at a clip that should be unsustainable. But at the point, I talk about this a lot, I'm betting you, they do it so often that clearly there's something to it. It's not just all random variance. I think some of it is. This is an electric offense. They started the year, they beat Lamar by seven. They won by 39 points against UTSA. They gave the game away against Arizona State. Again, turnovers. Last week, they played Sam Houston State. They were up 22-0 in the first quarter, and they lost 40-39. to Why did they lose? Well, it's pretty simple. They had four fumbles. They only lost one, but they fumbled four times, lost one. They missed a field goal, and they had two turnover on downs. It's the same story. Uh, just absolute mistake after mistake. Having said all that, it's still a very potent offense. They were gashed on the ground last week, and that's something, I'll be honest, I don't understand. They've been an absolutely fantastic run front, even against Arizona State. And Sam Houston State gashed them up. So that's something you need to correct. But fortunately for them, the offense is still humming. They've got everything that you could ask there. If they play a somewhat clean game, they're going to hang a lot of points. Because we didn't get everything right by any stretch in the offseason. But one thing we did get right is that Troy was in for a really bad year. Uh, and it's honestly worse than I expected. Troy's 1-4. They just lost at home to Louisiana Monroe. They have zero wins against FCS schools. The only uh, FBS schools, their only win is against an FCS school. They beat Florida A&M by 22. They lost by 21 to Memphis. They lost by a couple points to Nevada. They lost by 17 to Iowa. And they lost to Louisiana, Louisiana Monroe at home. The entire team, Gunnar Watson and co. are not walking through that door. I've said that all offseason. Proven right. Their metrics are horrendous on both sides of the ball. Defensively. They have nothing to stop Texas State. Texas State will march up and down the field, pending they don't self-destruct. The other thing that I like, it's a, a small sample, so it's noisy. Troy's like outside the top 115 in, in takeaways. They're not doing anything uh, to take the ball away. So that should give us a little more cushion to play a clean game. They got penalties all over the place. They have no offense to speak of. They're going to try to run the ball. Again, Texas State's front should be uniquely built to stop that. They weren't last week, but they were two weeks ago. So, again, I don't really understand. This dipped inside two touchdowns. That's the spot I wanted it. Give me Texas State to rebound. Conference play now. It gets serious. They look impressive tonight, and they get the job done.
If you have any questions on this game, obviously Thursday night football, soccer, the playoffs, I am in my Discord. Again, that link is below. And you can tweet me at JazzRazBets. Always happy to help if I can. Uh, and let's just keep the good times rolling. It's a really fun time of the year for sports. Enjoy it. Hopefully profitable. Cash those tickets, whatever you're betting tonight. But give a look to my friends, Texas State, one of my favorite teams in the country. On that note, friends, enjoy your Thursday. Good luck. See you tomorrow.